Round 1 of the 2012 Night Series saw last year's Division 1 champions Bunbury Forum Force take on the team they replaced in the Premier League, Mandra City, at neutral Dalmatinac Park. It was Mandra in black and white who should have opened the scoring. Michael Grigo robbed Danny Kane on halfway, surged forward before feeding Jeff Bright, who was only denied by a good save by Ryan Montgomery standing tall. In the 12th minute, Bunbury broke down the left through Jamie Tandy. He fed John Brooks and his first time ball fell to the feet of Martin Ryan, who stumbled over the prone Tom Straker, regained his feet and then was caught from behind by a wild and reckless challenge by Phil Straker. Ashley Young sent Straker the wrong way and Bunbury had the lead. Ryan is first to his feet after stumbling over Tom Straker and is clearly brought down by Phil Straker's ill-timed challenge. Mandra went in search of an equaliser and Papa Hapata found space at the edge of the box but when he did shoot it went high over the crossbar. However Bunbury always looked the more dangerous in attack and when Mark Osmond found Martin Ryan in the box, he was denied by Tom Straker blocking twice. Bunbury continued to attack in the second half, and after Corey Utterson fed Ashley Young, his sublime chip found John Brooks in space, and he finished emphatically past Phil Straker. Young shows great vision and his well-weighted chip plays in Brooks behind a momentarily hesitating Ackerman. Straker advances, but Brooks' finish is too good. 2-0 to Bunbury. Five minutes later, Bunbury had a third and the match sewn up. Martin Ryan outmuscled Tom Straker, ran into the box and unselfishly squared to Steve Howson who fired into the top corner, leaving Phil Straker no chance. Tom Straker's coach will be far from pleased how easily he lost possession to Ryan. He shows great awareness and squares to Howson, who shoots first time into the top corner. A quality finish. Mandra, to their credit, kept battling, and fast feet from Hapata fed Grigo, who slipped the ball to Darren Broxton, who looked for a 1-2, but Hapata turned and shot, but straight at Montgomery. In the 58th minute, Bunbury had a fourth. Young played another superb ball out wide, which was clipped into the box straight to the feet of Martin Ryan, who guided it past the outstretched striker. Ryan has outpaced the Mandra defence and under little or no pressure guides the ball past Straker at full stretch and into the back of the net. Three minutes later Bunbury switched off. A poor clearance fell to Michael Grigo, his cross dribbled across the six yard box and the unmarked Darren Broxton prodded home at the back post. Poor cross from Grigo, but a superb dummy by Jeff Bright, drawing the Mandra defence and leaving the unmarked Broxton a tap-in at the back post. Mandra almost conceded a second. Montgomery's goal kick was headed forward and Bright fed Hapata, but his shot from a tight angle was blocked and then gathered by Montgomery. Mandra kept pushing, but when substitute Dan McCallum was robbed by Brooks and the attack was snuffed out, the referee blew the final whistle and Bunbury Forum Force had seen off local rivals Mandra City four goals to one. All right, Nigel, we couldn't have really asked for a much better start to the season there, 4-1 against Mandra. Yeah, it was a good performance. It's all about the uh, um, pre-season type work for us at the moment. We've been working hard for the last uh, five, five weeks. Um, 
for the next game. Let's go and see but uh, yeah, it, it was a good team. performance, and uh, we wanted him just teams. to work hard, uh, which he done. And uh, the first 15 minutes of the second half, we wanted to nail the game and get it done and dusted, which uh, they done. So everything went to plan tonight. And it was a massive improvement from last year's night series. You just held on for a one-all draw against Mandra, and today 4-1. What did you think? Well, last year we we been underdone and we had to play a lot of young players, but this year we've decided we we play the best possible team we could, and we want to try and progress past this first round. So that was a, that's the name of the game. We've never done it before, so we want to. We, it's it's pre-season for us, so as many games we can play, the better. And how did you find Steve Housen's first game in the uh, in the black and yellow? Steve Housen a bit of quality. He's obviously uh, he's a nice lad, uh, and he's, he's obviously a bit of quality. He's played a good level in England, and he's come to us, and uh, he's going to be a big asset for us. All right, Nigel, all the best for the rest of the series. Okay, thank you.